Welcome, this is Kat, and this is a DIY of the Antler Talisman Kit that came in the Wolf and Time May box. Now, my kit is going to be a little bit different because I've added a lot of my own special things from my craft studio in there, but it also has everything from the kit itself that came in the box. First, what I do is I smudge my space with Palo Santo to make sure everything is nice and cleansed. I also charge it with my own energy and I did hurt my hand recently had a little crafting accident with some leather shears so I took my time doing this and I really wanted to make sure that that didn't affect the project first I brought some of my own crystals this is blue moonstone And I'll list all the properties of everything in the description box below. And this is green prasiolite. This is the rune. And uh, here's a second rune. And I will have both of their meanings and what they are in the description box. This is a naturally shed antler tip. This is labradorite crystal. This is a turquoise cabochon that came in the kit. Black tourmaline and garnet crystals also came in the kit, along with the antler tip. And this is tree agate or moss agate. is abalone shell and this is the deer charm that came in the kit and here's an owl charm and a wolf charm the deer and the wolf and the owl are three of my totem animals and spirit guides. And then this is the cord that came in the kit to hang your talisman on. And then I'm using copper wire, but in your kit you got silver wrapping wire. And I use a hot glue gun for gluing everything on, but you can use any glue that you have handy. And first I'm adding on my blue moonstone on the top to activate my antler tip. Blue moonstone is important to me. It is um, one of the crystals that I connect to my celestial guides, celestial realms, and higher divine self. It also activates my third eye and my higher chakras. I'm adding labradorite because I always need psychic protection and labradorite not only helps protect that but activates it as well as helps connect you with your spirit guides. Then I'm adding garnet crystal and the 
black tourmaline that came in the kit. This is to help ground and protect my root chakras to give me creative flow passion um, and of course to shield me from any negative energy and negative entities. The antler itself represents uh, one of my deities, um, the spirit and god of the forest, as well as the buck, the deer, and it has a strong representation, and I will list that in the description box below as well. And this is just wrapping the proselyte and it's pretty easy to wrap. There's instructions in your kit, but you just cross wrap it. You make a, a little loop and then you cross wrap it again and you can either twist it to secure it. You can loop it in kind of like a knot or you can do like a twist tie where you twist it and secure it that way. So there's a couple different ways you can do it. It's however it's comfortable for you and play around with it if you'd like. I've seen a couple people do it different ways, so I just like to show you how I like to do it. Praseolite connects us to the Fey Realm, forest spirits, and is a strong crystal for me to connect with trees and talk to um, just nature in general. So it's something that I wanted to connect to my talisman bundle, as well as the abalone, which is a rainbow. So it activates all chakras and helps connect me to the ocean and the water element. You can also use tools like what I have, which are bead making tools or wire, um, needle nose pliers, whatever you have handy around the house or in your craft making kit, but your fingers and hands work just as well. This is also a perfect time to add your charms on or any beads or any other things that you want to personalize your talisman with before uh, twisting off the wire and finishing it off. I added the abalone shell to my praseolite and I added the wolf and the deer charm to my antler. This is a really great opportunity for you to make it personalized. You can carve into it, draw into it. You can add your own runes. You can add your own symbols, writing. This is how you create your own magic with your talisman. 
and you make it special for you and your own path. This is how you can make it unique. I personally use these for any type of energy work. So when I go into my protective circle and I'm working with, um, you know, meditation or chakras or I'm working with my spirit guides, I would put something like this on and help me with my shamanic journeying or traveling, astral traveling or with my energy work um, and tapping in, stuff like that. And it just helps, you know, with protection, with connecting, with um, a multitude of things, depending on how you use it or how you create it for your own intention. This is an added charm that I used with the owl and a bone and a moon and sun charm. And later I can add um, some carvings into that bone with a engraving tool. But it represents, you know, the seasons, the phases of the moon for me and the wisdom and guidance of my owl. Which with, with each piece, I honor it. I thank the animal and I consider it sacred and give it great respect. Then I just strung everything on there and I did end up restringing the runes later so that um, when I hung it around my neck, the runes were facing the correct way up and you could see them and they are important to me and I just love this project. It was very special. If you got this kit and you made this, I would love to hear about it in the comments below. If you would like this or the box, you can check out the links below and grab one from our past box collection on the website at Wolf in Time. Thank you so much for watching and blessed be.